how for my people? How na day? Now me be fine monkey and this one now how to speak the original Ninja Pigeon. Yeah. I hope you guys missed me. I hope you guys had a wonderful time wherever you were. Yeah, wherever you were. So what's up? The number 10th word for letter E today. The number 10th word for letter E today is Egbe. And so Egbe is termed as a fool. Somebody who knows Sabi. Somebody who is not an happening guy, Egbe. So for example, you want to say Egbe to someone, you can say, that guy na Egbe. That guy is not sharp. The guy is not sharp here. Yeah. Alright, number ninth word for today is a gunje. A gunje means to bribe. A gunje means to bribe. So when you hear say person they collect a gunje, it means that person is collecting bribe. So a gunje is bribe. Bribe is a gunje. Number eight word for today is a susu. A susu. You know, every day you are going, you just you just give your wife 200 naira or you give your son 200 naira or you give your friend 200 naira. You they keep a susu for your hand. So which means a susu basically is contribution so that at the end of the month you can collect the money and so you go say I want to collect my a susu. So a susu means daily contribution. A susu means daily contribution. Yeah. Number seventh word for today is hey ya. Hey ya. Hey ya. Hey ya. Hey ya. And so hey ya means sorry. To sympathize with somebody, say, ah, so you never chopped since morning. Hey, yeah. So you've not eaten since morning. Oh, you know, feeling pity for the person. That's what it means. So number seventh word for today is, hey, yeah. Say with me. Somebody say, hey, yeah. <laughs> number sixth word for today is, Espo. Yes, Espo. And so Espo basically is to cheat. You understand? To cheat. It's it's mainly mainly used when you are in the examination or probably when you're given an assignment or probably when you're asked to do something and you just feel you need to go and carry Espo and you have to cheat to do it. So whenever you cheat to do it, we say that person carry Espo. For example, the guy they carry Espo for class. The guy they cheat for class. It is stretch neck for class. The guy is a cheat. The guy is a cheater. The guy they carry a spoon. Now you cannot say that the guy is cheating on his baby and say the guy is carrying a spoon on his baby. Come on, who does that? Nobody. All right, number fifth word for today is eba. Now eba is a local staple in Nigeria that every tribe eats in Nigeria. The Alsas eat eba. The Igbos eat eba. The Alsa um, the um, Yorubas eat eba. The Calabaris eat eba. The Ishans eat eba. The Calabars eat eba. The Efix eat eba. Everybody in Nigeria eats eba. As a matter of fact, if you come to Nigeria and you don't eat eba, sorry, maybe you visited Tanzania. Yeah, maybe I guess because when you see Nigeria, you see eba. As a matter of fact, eba makes Nigeria. And so, peace out to all the eba niggas. <laughs> All right, the next word for today, the number fourth word to for today is a fico. A fico. When you hear somebody call somebody a fico, it means the person is brilliant. The person is sound. The person is is in no book. He's a be right. The guy is the guy is vocal. So a fico means somebody brilliant, somebody clever, somebody very very intelligent. For example. You can say I am an Efiko in Pigeon, which means I am very, very intelligent when it comes to Pigeon. You can say um, your father is Efiko is in, in engineering, which means your father is very intelligent when it comes to engineering. And you can say that guy, the Efiko for Bibzu, which means the guy is very, very, you know, he knows his ways around the woman. So Efiko basically means intelligent person, somebody clever, somebody very smart, somebody who can tackle issues as the matter goes. So you can say, I be a fico, which means I am intelligent. I hope you got that. The third word for today is a fizzy. A fizzy. Now, a fizzy is 
someone is an attitude with swag like like if you get a fizzy the guy gets a fizzy you know you know the word fizzy when when a drink is fizzy it's bubbling it's full of life you know and so a fizzy means somebody who is feel full of life somebody who's got swag somebody who has you know all it takes to be a man a nigga you know what i'm saying a fizzy man like i get a fizzy you have a lot of swag you have you know what it takes to ball yeah you get a fizzy so so a fizzy means swag a fizzy means um charisma a fizzy means a lot yeah whatever you want to put there just, just plug it in plug it in yeah <laughs> the next word for today is actually it's not a word it's like the next phrase for today i'm going to give you a phrase and this phrase is a phrase that can save you in times of trouble this phrase is you don't do you don't do like when you're being harassed in public in nigeria just tell them you don't do or probably when somebody is trying to argue with you just say you don't do you don't do simply means it is okay but once they hear you say they're talking to you and you say it is okay it's okay it's okay it's okay now you just they just look like yo 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 there's a white guy around us like there's we, we need to pick up his phone or what do you think yeah you're right it's, it's saying it's okay you know it's okay to be okay well, <laughs> right, but just for them to know that you were smart and sharp just tell them you don't do you don't do means it's okay so you don't have to stress yourself over saying the word it's okay just tell them you don't do you can put some attitude and make it look like man you're on top of the game and say you don't do now you don't do now i give them my attitude you know what i'm saying you don't do now now they will know that you mean it yeah that's when they know you mean it but when you just go you don't do no 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 no. i told you pigeon is with attitude you don't have attitude you can't speak pigeon like pigeon you have to put that attitude to it you understand so for people like us people come from data state like this all they speak pigeon with a knack enough attitude you know to accompany i mean nobody like say lost you know you cannot say pregnant tomorrow without a big stomach is it a scam not done i understand so when you say you don't do you don't do simply means it's okay so when you give them an attitude they don't know you this guy is a wacko job but i just let him be you know what i'm saying you don't do man <laughs> you don't do <laughs> The last word for today is Ewo. Ewo. Like somebody you step on something, go Ewo. You know, depending on the situation. So if um, you you were almost knocked down by a car, you can go Ewo. You know, if somebody stepped down, you can go Ewo. Like if you're happy, you can go Ewo. Like, I mean, Ewo fits everywhere. Ewo. You know, so it's. It could be used as shock for happiness, it could be used as shock for surprise, it could be used as shock for pain, depending on the context of what is happening. So if somebody just tells you, uh, if somebody just calls you and tells you, yo bro, um, your visa is ready, come pick it up, your visa is ready, can go, hey, bro. I, I don't believe so my visa will come out, hey, you bro. like you're surprised. And when somebody steps on you, you can go, hey, wolf. Ah! Hey, wolf. Now that's a wolf for pain. And when somebody is about to stab you, or probably a boss is about to eat you, and you are saved and didn't eat you, you can go, hey, wolf. Hey, wolf. That, like a sign of fear. So a wolf can be actually said depending on the situation. All right, if you just join us, this is how to speak the original Ninja Pigeon in 10 words now as it is we'll give you tips on how to speak pigeon we will give you tips for a we're giving the tips for b we're giving the tips for c we're giving tips for d and this is tips for e i hope you guys enjoy this episode and please don't forget to like subscribe and also share and please drop a comment below don't forget i know they teach you now pg make na go take and bring you so as i did teach you now make una they learn now when i feel ask me question online Based on one or two, you don't understand. So any question where I no answer sharply, I go drop comment for now. As I drop out. My name is Davis, and in case you no know, this one now how to speak the original Niger Pigeon. One, two, ten. I don't come out. I love you all.